Kami Sato Ayato is finally back everyone. It's been quite a while since he last made his appearance so I know that many of you have missed him on his last banner. So hopefully if you're someone who is pooling for Ayato this time around I do wish you good luck that you get him in the earliest pool possible. Now guys today we'll be looking into Ayato's updated build especially in terms of some of his most new team build because there has been quite a lot of changes in terms of Ayato after the release of Dendro Reaction. With that guys, just sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the video. First of all, one of the most common questions many of us would be wondering is how good Ayato actually is or more specifically how good has he been before and after the release of Dendro Reaction or in patch 3.0. Now even before Dendro Reaction, Ayato has already been a very good Hydro character. Not only is he very easy to play because all you have to do is basically set up his burst and then cast his E skill to then spam his normal attack where he does a very very cool attack animation but his E skill attack has very very good AOE in that it feels as if he's attacking 180 degrees in front of him and has a very wild and far range as well. So whenever you're up against group enemy situation you feel very comfortable using Ayato to deal damage and that is one of the most important things that you want on a DPS character as well which is the AOE of their attack because any DPS with a very short range of AOE is very very hard to play attempts. Furthermore, Hoyoverse also gives Ayato access to a very very good burst in that it creates a field of beautiful raindrops dropping down on enemies for up to 18 seconds which is very very long for a burst duration. Not only that it has very wide AOE range, therefore any enemies on field is pretty much going to be in within range. Making Ayato quite a versatile character in that he can be both a DPS or a burst support whenever you want him to be providing Ayato with pretty much a complete set for any of the player who love Ayato himself. Also, Hydro characters have their merits as well in that the element itself is very very good with having access to a lot of different elemental reactions. Therefore, it also provides Ayato with a lot of flexibility when it comes to team build. And that's Ayato before Dendro release. So what about Ayato now after the patch 3.0? And I would say Ayato now is even better than before Four, especially when you pair him up along in a dendro reaction teams because he performs exceptionally well in these kind of teams. We already know Hydro as an element have access to a lot of different reaction when it comes to dendro therefore it leads Ayato with a very much new team build as well which of course we will be covered in depth more in our team build section for Ayato. Generally speaking when it comes to Hydro DPS Ayato just feels to roll absolutely well because of his ease of game gameplay and how cool he looks when he's dealing AoE damage plus he's able to do very very high hydro damage as well. The only thing with Ayato right now is that he might be in a bit of competition here and there with some of the other hydro DPS characters for example like Child or even Nilu sometimes but considering the fact that we don't actually have that many hydro DPS at this point in time I'm sure Ayato is still going to be a very valuable character in the long run. Moving on to Ayato playstyle I don't think we we have to discuss too much here because first of all I'm sure you know Ayato is mainly going to be a hydro DPS character which he's absolutely amazing with however from the fact that he has access to a very good burst which is kind of like similar to how Gan uses there's also an option of Ayato being a burst support character where you know he's going to be on your team providing us a hydro enabler as well as hydro application for the team with his burst being on field for a very long time of 18 seconds. Now, I would say a burst support is totally fine and it's very doable however generally I don't recommend you to use Ayato as a burst support because mainly it is just a waste of potential from Ayato because even though his burst does allow him to do decent amount of damage however using him as a burst support meaning that you're focusing on energy recharge more than his attack plus Ayato main skill resolve around his E skill so many of the time you're just losing damage from Ayato which is why I generally just recommend 
recommend having him as the on-field DPS most of the time. However, that's not to say that burst support isn't viable because it just goes to show how versatile Ayato can be so that you can, for example, have two builds for your Ayato. First is DPS and then you can have another burst support where whenever you want to slot him into a different kind of team, you can do so also. Regarding talents, priority and build, if you're using main DPS Ayato, then first of all, you want to upgrade your skills to your burst and then to normal attack if you want to. If you're using Ayato as burst DPS, then obviously his burst is going to be the top priority and then to his skills and his normal attack. Moving on to Ayato's best artifacts. Now guys, I would say that the Heart of Death is still going to be for sure his 100% best option, mainly because of how good the set is on a Hydro DPS, but also due to how stable the set will provide you in terms of buff. Therefore, you can be certain that the amount of damage Ayato has is very stable many of the time. After that, you can go with 4-piece Gladiator if you have a very, very good set in terms of this. It can be easier to build because most of us do have a lot more Gladiator artifact stats in our account. And the third place would be the Echo set. Now, I know that many of us will be thinking that the Echo set should be on the top priority. However, it does have some of the drawback in that it is very dependent on your ping of your account. If your ping is actually higher than a hundred, then you will see that this set will perform pretty much worse. However, if your ping is in the green most of the time, then you don't have to worry and you can choose this set over the other because it will perform slightly better than the other two options. The only thing with this set also though is that it's actually one of the worst domain you want to farm in as you probably not going to be using the other sets along with it anytime soon. So if you're very much invested into Ayato, you can do so. However, I would just recommend you to farm Heart of Death as it can be pretty much used on any of the Hydro characters. Other than that, we also have the option of the Gilded Dream. Many of you have been asking if investing into EM Ayato is a good idea now that we have a lot of reaction based Ayato. However, the thing with EM build guys is that I generally don't really recommend you to focus too much on EM because when you're focusing on EM only, you're just going to be focusing on reaction only, meaning that you're basically forgetting any other kinds of raw attack damage. And in Ayato specifically guys, many of the time he's actually more of an enabler than the triggerer of reaction. Enabler meaning that he's there to apply hydro rather than doing hydro reactions. The reason being is that his hydro application is very fast, therefore there's almost no support character who can actually keep up with his speed at this point, which is more of the reason why you don't want to invest too much into EM Hayato. However, if you want some fun, you can definitely use this set because Gilded Dream set is still a very, very good set. Plus, it does give you a bit of attack boost depending on which team you are using. Now, in terms of stats for the artifacts, if you're using main DPS Ayato, the Sans is going to be attack percentage. I've seen that many people asking whether or not HP percentage is okay on Ayato as well because if you didn't remember then HP scaling does provide benefit for Ayato since part of his E skill skill off of HP as well. However, from testing we've seen that attack percentage perform a lot better than HP percentage stands so it's better yet just to stick with attack percentage here. For cup it's gonna be hydro percentage and then for circlet it's gonna be crit ratio. If you're using a burst DPS Ayato then that's gonna be an energy recharge sand so that you can make sure he has burst every single rotation and then top is going to be hydro and circlet is crit ratio as well. Moving on to Ayato's best weapon we definitely know that the Haran is on his top place because it is made for him and it is his BIS option. So if you're pretty much invested into Ayato you can get this weapon but do know that this weapon is only good on Ayato at this point in time. It's very hard to use on most of the other sword characters so do keep that in mind. The next best overall option is going to be the Primordial Jade Cutter. This weapon overall is just basically good on any of the sword character at this point. You can just have this sword on your account and fit onto any of the sword character and they will do absolutely well and of course that goes for Ayato as well. Very very good secondary option in terms of providing a lot of crit rate so you don't really have to worry much about crit ratio. Next we have the Miss Blitter. This sword still have access to a very very good base stat that it gives with a lot of crit damage for Ayato. However, many of the time Ayato will struggle in terms of getting full of the buff from the passive. But if you actually have this weapon to spare on your account, then definitely Ayato can use it 
it really really well after that we have the black sword in terms of the four star option one of the top top four star option for ayato at this point because he can utilize all of the passive plus the sword does give a lot of crit rate as well so a very very solid option other than that for a free to play option you can use with the amanoma kaguchi where it does give you a decent amount of attack plus it generates energy recharge for ayato really well so that he can keep up with his burst habinjo of dawn is also an option that you can go with because using this weapon and you almost never have to worry much about your crit ratio so if you're struggling to balance out your crit ratio when it comes to artifacts the harbinger of dawn is going to be there for you next we'll talk a bit about constellation considering that this is his rerun banner so i know that many of you would be considering his constellation as well something to note is that ayato is very much a complete unit at c0 already so his constellation is just there to basically improve his damage where if you're someone who loves seeing high damage number then this constellation is for you however it won't be changing his playstyle very much his c1 basically gives his e skill damage a 40 percent increase on opponent with less than 50 percent hp now i wouldn't say that this constellation is the best because it's very much dependent on your enemies so it's not going to be very stable and unreliable most of the time c2 is going to be generally his best constellation and the best stopping point for most of us because this is going to be a strong constellation that increases his usual namisen stack damage because after having at least three namisen stacks he gets his max hp increased by 50 percent which is pretty pretty good c4 basically after casting his burst your party members will have a 15 percent increase in normal attack speed now overall this constellation allows him to use two to three martian suiken attack so it's actually a pretty solid damage increase for a c6 basically after he uses his e skill his next shunshuiken attack will create two extra shunshuiken strike that hits opponent h1 dealing 450 percent of ayato attack as damage so there's basically a very much considerable dps increase in terms of ayato's front loading damage therefore once again a very much significant increase in terms of his dps now we'll be moving on to the most important part of ayato's updated build which is his newest team build we've already know that after dendro reaction we have access to a lot of different team build especially when it comes to hydro reactions mainly we will be seeing bojian hyper bloom and bloom team where ayato also actually have teams that performs really well when it comes to three of these reactions first of all we have Bergian. from my testing Bergian is going to be the best of all out of the newest reaction teams and Bergian actually performs much better than most of its other reaction team before dendro reaction arrives so it's safe to say that whenever you're using ayato Bergian is technically going to be his best team at this point for Bergian, you can use characters such as ayato shangling bennett and nahida on the team and they will do absolutely kick ass because with the introduction of Nahida it has just made the teams perform a lot a lot better. The thing with Bergian Ayato is that with having Nahida and other pyro character on your team some of the time you'll be creating burning reaction from pyro and dendro therefore it's technically going to be easier for Ayato to trigger vaporize when this happens allowing him to do quite a lot more vaporize than some of the past team of his. Then we have Hyper Bloom if you've already known the Hyper Bloom is also one of the best team in terms of hydro reactions. In Ayato's case, you can run characters such as along with Raiden, Nahida, and Kokomi, therefore giving us hydro resonance of increasing 25% maximum HP. And do remember that Ayato benefits off of HP increase as well, therefore having hydro resonance benefits him pretty well. It's very much an easy team to play as well because by having Raiden and Nahida on the team, you're already providing a lot of off field damage, not to mention when Ayato is off field waiting for his E skill cooldown, Raiden can then be on field casting her burst and doing extra electro damage. And then we have Blue Mayato. Now, this team is technically not complete at this point due to the lack of a Dendro healer. So, whenever you want Ayato to be on a Bloom team, you want to kind of have characters such as Nilu and then Dendro character on the team. However, due to the lack of character running with this team, you may want to run characters such as Ayato, Nilu, Kokomi, and then Nahida on the team just to have a healer. So you're technically having a three character of Hydro here on the team. So it kind of feels like a mono Hydro team at times. But with Nilu here on the team, she's already helping you dealing a lot of off-field bloom reactions. So the team will perform pretty 
good. However, it does require you to have Nilu because if you don't have Nilu, General Bloom Ayato team wouldn't be performing as well. So at this point, it's just going to be a pretty fun team for you to try out. It's not very sustainable without a Dendro healer. And then other than that, we still have some of his other good reaction teams such as Vaporize. This team is still pretty much on par with Bergian attempts because it's still providing Ayato a lot of sustainable reactions. We can have Kazuya here on the team where he's Swirl Pyro and then Ayato is going to be on field doing Hydro reactions. Very easy team to play with very high damage output. And then also we have Freeze Ayato team. Now Freeze Ayato team is probably one of the easiest Freeze team that you can run with because there's going to be Ganyu and Ayato who set up their burst and then everyone's on the field is just constantly going to be under Freeze. The only thing with this team though is that it's technically one of his least damaging teams out of all of Ayato's teams so generally you don't really want to use this team most of the time because other dendro reaction team mainly is already going to be outperforming this team already so as you can see ayato has access to a lot of different varieties of team especially after dendro reaction it is very fun to play plus alongside with dendro ayato is performing exceptionally well so i hope that this updated guide have helped you to have a better understanding of ayato and get you a better build out of him if you do have any question guys leave it down in the comment section and i will get to you there if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to not miss out on my future videos now if you're interested in checking out some of my other guides i do have that specifically on screen right here so check it out as i'm sure it will be very helpful to you really appreciate you guys sticking with me to this part of the video and with that i wish you a super day and i will catch you on my next video